I don't know about you guys, but I have no interest in mining and earning Ethereum Classic right now. But what if we could take these miners and earn different cryptocurrency? Today's video is sponsored by MinerPool.pro. MinerPool.pro is excited to announce the launch of their weekly Flux Reward campaign for GPU miners worldwide. Every Thursday, MinerPool will be giving away 50 Flux to 20 active miners on their Flux Pool. 50 Flux times 20 miners equals a total of 1,000 Flux every week, given away to miners just like you and me. Make sure you join flux.minerpool.pro and mine to get a chance of being one of those 20 lucky miners. So in today's video, we're going to be taking my iPolo and we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide to achieve two things on two different platforms. The first platform is we're gonna be using on Mineable and we're gonna show you guys how if you have the ability and the power rate available to you to run this. Now it's only 240 watts, so we're not breaking the bank to run it, but with Unminable, we can mine Ethereum Classic and then pick the coin that we wanna get paid out in. Now, I'm not gonna talk about profitability because let's be honest, it really doesn't exist. Everything now is more spec mining and that's exactly what we're gonna do with our iPolo. We're gonna mine Ethereum Classic and then I'm gonna show you guys on, on Unminable different options that we can go ahead and get paid out on and just, you know, we're gonna hold those and kind of build our bag. But the nice thing is, and the cool thing is, is with our iPolo, we could kind of change it up per week or per month, or when we hit a thousand coins, you know, we can go to another one and it's all spec mining, right? But now let's talk about number two. Okay, so for our second option with these iPolos out there, and this works with all the iPolos guys, is what if we just want to set it and forget it? And what instantly comes to mind is mining Ethereum Classic and getting paid out in Bitcoin. Now, you could do that with Unminable, but then you could also do it with nice hash. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys today is taking this unit, setting it up to mine that Ethereum Classic and then just earn that Bitcoin and just stack it, baby. I mean, for me, as much Bitcoin as we can get right now so that during the next bull run, whenever that is, We'll be sitting on a decent side. You know, I'm not going to say we're going to be making a boatload of Bitcoin with this, but every Bitcoin counts, right? Okay, so before we get too far into it, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know from you guys. Are you currently mining with your iPolos? If you have one, not everyone is fortunate to have one, but if you do have one, are you currently mining with them? And if so, what are you doing? What's your strategy? Are you mining Ethereum Classic straight out and just holding? Are you then going ahead and exchanging and swapping? Or have you gone down the route to look at things like Unminable and also NiceHash? So let's dive in to today's video and we're gonna go step-by-step step first off on talking about Unminable. Alrighty guys, so we are over on our iPolos website. Um, we are going to upgrade the firmware on our iPolos first because I have found that some of my older iPolos, this did not work for with Unminable or NiceHash. So let's just be safe, right? And we're just gonna upgrade the firmware on our iPolo. Uh, while you're over there, check out iPolo's website. I noticed they have a bunch of sales going on and things like that. If you guys need a link directly to what I'm talking about, I'll put a link directly down below in the description as well as in the first pinned comment. So we're over here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to support and then firmware download and then select the model you have. I have a V-series one. That's the gold one. So we're going to select that. And they have two options here. We're not going to use the SD card. We're going to go through the web UI. So we're just going to go ahead and click V1 78106. And they've come out with a boatload of firmware updates over the last year, guys. So this is a great time. Let's go ahead and go uh, go with it. So we're just going to select here. It gives us a warning. And we're just going to do download executable. It's going to download it to our downloads folder. Next, we're going to go over to the iPolo. And I factory reset mine entirely so that I can set this up from scratch to show you guys exactly how I'm doing it. So we're going to log in with the username of root and the password of root. And then what we're going to do is mine's actually mining right now because it's mining actually to the default wallet and information. If you click on minor configuration, you'll actually see like this isn't my info. Uh, this is probably iPolo's. Um, so if anybody never changes this, oh boy. But we're going to upgrade our firmware. So right now I am on the, at the very top, you can see it 70.77.100 firmware. We just talked about how there's seven, eight available. So on the left-hand side, go to firmware upgrade, and then we're going to go to flash image, and we're going to select the file that we just downloaded. 
All right, file has been selected and we're gonna hit upload. And it's gonna upload and it's gonna apply the firmware. So let's check back guys in what, three minutes or so. And we'll go from there. All right, so our iPolo took about five minutes. So it was actually a little uh, underrated that, you know, I said about three, it's about five minutes. Uh, after it completes, we'll log back in <clears throat> and verify at the top that you are on version 7.8. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go over to minor config and it's gonna have all the defaults in here. Don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and change these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Unminable. And if you guys aren't familiar with Unminable, it's really easy to use. And if you mentioned the word Unminable during the bull market, it was like blasphemy as a GPU miner. But now that we're in the bear market, it's funny how we're using Unminable to go ahead and use the current hardware that we're using uh, and get some of these other coins that we're interested in kind of hodling. So you mine one coin and you get paid out in the second one. That's exactly how it works. It's super simple to use. And after you understand it the first time, you'll be using this all the time. So here's what we're gonna do. We're over on Unminable and you're gonna find the coin that you're interested in. You're not gonna find the coin that you're currently mining. So let's say you're interested in Dogecoin or Flux or Bitcoin or Ripple, whatever you guys really want. It's unminable, you know, it's all those tokens that are unminable, but then it has some other stuff on it. I know they just added Flux more recently. Keep in mind, if you swap to Flux, you don't get paid the parallel assets because you didn't mine it. You're swapping from Ethereum Classic to Flux. So keep that in mind that you wouldn't get the parallel assets. So for all intents and purposes today, we're gonna use Dogecoin. So we're gonna mine Ethereum Classic and get paid in Dogecoin. So we're gonna pick Dogecoin. Nice and easy. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, I wanna show you guys the wizard because it makes things pretty simple. So in the top right hand corner, you see how it says get started with our wizard? We're gonna click it. Now it's gonna ask us which avenue we're gonna go, basic or advanced, we're gonna pick advanced. Now for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna pick GPU. And now we're going to pick what algorithm that we're gonna be mining. And we're gonna pick ETC hash because that's what our iApollo is. Next, we're gonna pick the coin that we're interested in, and that is Dogecoin. Now it's gonna ask you for your Dogecoin wallet. All right, we've entered our Dogecoin wallet. I'm gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask us our geolocation for our region. We're gonna pick US. Now this is important. You're gonna to wanna to pick the 3333 three, three, three option because uh, I don't believe the SSL version works with the iPolo. So 3333. Three, three, three. Now it's gonna ask you to name your miner. So I Polo Mini Gold. We're gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask you, do you have a referral code? If you have one, you can put it in. If not, just go ahead and do continue without referral code. And now we have all the information we need. So we're just gonna use the, the, it gives you like all the different miners that you would wanna use, but the nice thing is this provides the information we want. So we don't need all of this. This is like if you're on Windows and you, and you need the entire thing for the batch file and everything like that. But the nice thing is we can pull what we need from here in the exact syntax. And you don't have any accidental spelling errors or spaces or anything. So first thing, we're gonna take from stratum to 3333 and we're gonna right click and copy it. We're then gonna come over to iPolo. And first thing you wanna do, the very top, let's start from the top down, you need to change the coin to ETC hash. I have made this mistake many times. If you don't change it, this will not work. ETC hash, step one. Step two, we're gonna clear out pull uh, two and three. For pull one, we're gonna replace what's in pull one with what we copied. So I'm gonna just right click and paste. There we go, stratum, ETC, hash, US, unminable, 3333. Now for the worker, we're gonna delete what's in there in the password, and we're gonna go back over to unminable, and this is where you need to pick from Doge all the way over to iPolo Mini Gold. See how it gives you the whole syntax? Doge, wallet, and then the name of our worker. We're gonna right click and copy that, and we're gonna paste it in the worker. Now finally, for password, Password is going to be an X. So to break this down from top to bottom, we're mining Ethereum Classic. We're mining Ethereum Classic to the unminable pool on port 3333. For worker, now think of it, we've mined. Now we're gonna get paid out in Doge. That's what flags that as to what we wanna get paid out in. We provided the Dogecoin wallet and our worker name is the iPolo Mini Gold with no password. Go ahead and hit save and apply and wait five minutes. 
Alrighty, so it's been about five minutes. We were pretty accurate on that one. And as you guys can see, we're currently mining right now. So you can see that we're doing 320 mega hash. Now, we're not mining Dogecoin. We're mining Ethereum Classic using the unminable pool. And then they're gonna go ahead and do our swap for us. All right, so if you're interested in just like your progress and how everything's going and, and you, can, you, know, you wanna see a dashboard, right? Go back over to unminable and pick Dogecoin. Then at the top, you're gonna to click address, and then you're gonna paste in your Dogecoin wallet address. And look at that, there we go. So now granted, I have done some testing on this, so it isn't like we just did that in five minutes. But now what you'll see is, you'll see your pending balance here. I have 84 Dogecoin pending. And then there's a little checkbox here, auto pay once a day, whenever my balance is over 30 Dogecoin. Okay, cool, or I can do pay now. So I'm gonna check that off there. And then you can see your payments. If you click on worker, you can see any active workers. So if you have several of these going, you can see the pool hash rate, just like you would on any other pool. And then you can force a payout too, if you wanted to. All right, so that's unminable with our iPolos. Not bad, right? We could try a few different coins there and kind of change it up and build some uh, nice bags over the next bear market, however long it could be. But now let's talk about nice hash and how you go ahead and set up your iPolo to directly mine Ethereum Classic, but get paid out in Bitcoin on the nice hash platform. All right, so we're back over on the iPolo dashboard. And once again, make sure you did the firmware update. You want to be on version 7.8. That's the latest as of today, which is the 19th of December. So we're going to go ahead and get set up. So here's what we need to do. So we're going to go over to Miner Config, and we're going to start from the top down, just like we do with a Mineable. We want to make sure we're on the Ethereum Classic algorithm. That's what's selected at the top, because that's what we're going to mine. Now we're going to remove what's in URL and remove what is in Worker. Next thing we're going to do is go in to our nice hash account, which we have it up here and available to us. We don't have any rigs running right now. And you're going to go to the top right hand corner to download miner or add ASIC. This is in the mining section at the very top. Once you click that, you're going to go to stratum generator at the bottom and you're going to pick your algorithm. So remember Ethereum classic, right? So in here, we're just going to type in ETC hash and that's gonna bring it up for us. So here's what we're gonna do. They made it super easy, guys, which should work out nicely. So let's go ahead and start from the top down. So we're actually going to do two different pools. The first pool is we're gonna do the SSL one. So we're gonna copy that one right there. And then we're going to go back over and we're going to paste that in URL. Then we're gonna go back over to NiceHash and we're going to do the same thing, copy the other one and we're gonna paste that one into the second one. Okay, following along, we have both of our pools there. Now let's talk about Worker. So for Worker, let's go back over to NiceHash, and you can see here, username or Worker, possible to add dot Worker name. So we're gonna copy, this is our mining address. This is actually mining to the NiceHash wallet, Bitcoin wallet on NiceHash. You have to do that, keep that in mind. Copy, and then we're gonna go back, and in here, we're gonna paste it, but then we're going to put a dot after it and do iPolo mini gold, okay? So it's that address dot iPolo mini gold, which is our worker address. So we're just gonna copy that again and we're gonna paste it right there. Now, next thing we wanna do, we do wanna go ahead and under password, we wanna put one, two, three. And we're gonna put password one, two, three. Now. None of this is gonna work without one last additional feature or line added. Go to the very bottom under more options and you're going to put in the dash dash nice hash. So it's, let's delete that so I can go with you, dash dash nice hash, one word. Then hit save and apply and wait five minutes. All right, so it's been a few minutes. These do take, as I said, about five minutes to get everything back up and ramped up and running and then reflect it here. And uh, we're up about 294. It's continued to go up here over the last few minutes. If we go over to nice hash, we can now see, look at that, we have one active miner running. So there we have it, unminable and nice hash. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap things up for today. So if you guys own an iPolo or you're interested in owning an iPolo, you do have options. These things were hot commodities during the bull market. And now all of a sudden you're like, oh, man, what do I do with these things? Because no one wants to mine with ETC hash and actually hold ETC. Well, 
it's nice to know we have options if it's nice hash or if it's unminable nice thing is you have control over what you receive which is great during the bear market well guys if you guys want links to any of the ipolas that i own i'll put them directly down below in the description as well as a pinned comment directly down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up and finally don't forget to subscribe take care Bye.